नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते शमला दीदी नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी नमस्ते सुनील जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी कैन स्टार्ट आवर शेयरिंग जी दीदी टुडे वी हैव शेयरिंग बाय दीपा दीदी नमस्ते दीपा दीदी माय गेस्ट पास टीम नमस्ते एवरीवन नमस्ते शमला दीदी नमस्ते एवरीवन नमस्ते सुनील भैया जी दीपा दीदी आई विल प्लेस योर ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन एंड देन यू कैन प्लेस योर शेयरिंग विद इन द सिक्रेटेड टाइम बेस्ड ऑन द इंडिकेटर्स Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, as we all know, Dibaji Raya, Dibaji Didi, she is a professor in the Division of Civil Engineering, School of Engineering, Kochi University of Science and Technology, Kochi. She has been associated with the UHP activities since uh, 2018, when she attended the the first uh, introductory workshop in Munna Engineering College, and she is the university coordinator of. Kochi uh, University of Science and Technology when uh, since its uh, inception then she has been part of very many activities of uh, uh, UHP in the in university including introduction of uh, UHP 2 course in the curriculum and UHP 1 in the SIP then she attended uh, uh, the refresh one part 1 And refresh upon part one in two thousand twenty one, and refresh upon part two in two thousand twenty two in January. And she is an active volunteer in the Kerala chapter. Uh, has been participating in many uh, varied areas. She is now presenting the content to the students as well as teachers in uh, online FTPs as well as uh, face to face FTPs. So with this very brief introduction, I welcome Diva Didi for her sharing in the morning session. Diva Didi, over to you. Yes, thank you, Bhaiya. Uh, hope I am audible. Yes, let me start yes, with my. Yes, audible. Ah, yeah. Ah, clear. Okay. Yes, Bhaiya. Thank you. Uh, namaste, everyone. Uh, I am Deepa Jinayar. Uh, as Sul Bhaiya was giving me uh, the introduction, I am working with Kochi University of Science and Technology, Civil Engineering Department, from nineteen ninety nine onwards. This is my twenty fifth year. I also live in Kochi with my husband Rajendran. He is a mechanical engineer. He was working in Kuwait for a long period. We have two boys, Achyut and Ashwin. Both are now in US. Achyut is working there after his masters from University of Florida. Ashwin, uh, he is also now there. Uh, he went for his masters program in Johns Hopkins. My parents are no more. My father. and my mother both were teachers and i have only one sister she is now living in delhi with her husband my husband's mother is staying in their native place uh, 45 kilometers away from kochi uh, with my husband's elder brother this is the introduction about my family and my uhp journey uh, it started in 2018 with a three day introductory workshop that time i was not able to continue my explorations but later in 2020 may i got the opportunity to attend a five day online workshop with my full involve, uh, involvement during that lockdown period and after that uh, i was attending almost all weekly sessions and involved in uhp activities later i attended esip in 2020 and uh, almost uh, all the students from our university were joining in that ESI, esip program and later i attended refresher one and refresher two i was uh, able to participate as co facilitator uh, in offline workshops now i am also conducting sessions in online ftps and student workshops Yes. Now, sharing my explorations related to exercise one. Observing the self by the self. This exercise helps me in improving my awareness. I am able to observe my feelings. If it is not naturally acceptable, I am able to see my responsibility and get over complaining about others. Specifically, from steps one to four. 
be aware observing the imagination is my feeling naturally acceptable am i in harmony who is residing the feeling i can clearly these see these steps let me connect one incident related to these steps uh, from my institution uh, in from my class two three weeks before uh, there was an incident in my class there were only 19 students present in my class out of the total strength of 47 it was the last session of the day just before the long weekend of shivaratri friday was also a holiday initially i got disappointed on seeing this strength and felt angry but on observing my feelings i was able to bring back my awareness very quickly i was able to understand the situation and analyze the reason behind it i was able to see my feeling of relationship with the students then i thought moreover there is no use of expressing my anger to these students who decided to attend the class and we made it as a uh, made it as an informal sharing session later in the very next class i discussed this issue with a feeling of relationship to those students who were absent on that day and connected this situation with the first lecture of uhb2 what to do part who is taking the decision you yourself or someone else to leave the class or to attend the class students were able to connect it very easily now the steps 5 and 6 on what basis i have decided this feeling understanding your assumption by c step 6a and 6b which are the feelings naturally acceptable relationship or harmony relationship or opposition harmony or disharmony coexistence or struggle then i was able to explore it i can check whether it is either based on assumption or right understanding on the basis of natural feeling i am able to choose right understanding and can remain comfortable <clears throat> accordingly i can see the need to ensure right understanding with the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence and can maintain my happiness related with the earlier incident initially my reaction was based on assumption that the students are not interested to attend the uhp sessions not considering it as that important as compared to other subjects this was the reason for my anger but on observing the feelings i was able to see my feeling of relationship with the students and analyze the situation from a different angle the students may be lacking competence if they get an extra holiday they want to leave home early not even bothered about skipping the whole day even i may have made the same mistake during my student life if i am able to place the proposal related to their intention and priority with a feeling of relationship i may be able to help the students my response to this situation was based on this understanding by c step 7a and 7b ensure the feeling at this moment in line with relationship harmony and coexistence i can remain in harmony 7b when i am able to understand relationship harmony and coexistence in its completeness i'll be able to remain in harmony all the time now i have this awareness very much within me much stronger than that of an information however ensuring it all the time i'm finding it bit difficult especially if i relate it with my interaction with one of my colleagues now i can talk to her in the natural way as i have the interaction with other friends and faculty members earlier i was completely avoiding her with a feeling of opposition however i have to improve my uh, improve my competence for ensuring this right feeling all the time 
now i have that awareness i can work, work further on it yes this is my understanding related to uh, exercise 1 now if i go back uh, go to exercise 2 <clears throat> observing the body by the self this exercise has helped me in improving my responsibility towards my body with a feeling of self regulation from steps 1 to 4 i can see my body and self as two dis different entities and transactions between them in the form of sensation and instructions if i pay attention to it then only i read the sensation and give instructions to the body while reading the sensation i can observe the distance between me and the sensation and clearly distinguish self and body let me share my experience regarding the feeling of self regulation i was facing some health issues from the beginning of last year and was under treatment from 2023 february onwards now i am completely recovered but i have to continue my treatment for some more time when i came to know about my illness initially i was a bit worried but that moment itself i was able to see the need of right understanding and thought of my responsibility towards my body as i was able to distinguish my body and self as two distinct realities i was able to take up the responsibility of the of my body with confidence this has helped me very much in taking the decisions with more clarity discussing about the details of my illness and treatment with my immediate relatives without any emotions i was also able to utilize this period for my improve uh, involvement in uhv activities during that period only i started conducting the sessions in ftps both online and offline since i was on leave from my official duties of the university for the entire year i could spend more time for uhp activities during the last year and it played a crucial role in bringing me back to my normal life and i joined back to my duty official duties from the beginning of this year i should thank uhp for that step 5 i give meaning to the sensation based on my sanskar my reaction or response depends on my sanskar yeah from i'm attending these morning sessions from 2021 september onwards i was able to write down many sanskars but now i can say uh, some of the sanskars yeah blaming others and doubting the intention of others i was having this sanskar of blaming others earlier whenever i was having any issue with anyone i was not able to see anything wrong with my behavior and was completely blaming the other person this was mostly creating issues in my family especially with my husband now also it is there but drastically reduced now i am able to observe this habit as part of my sanskar and i am working on it to rectify it and one more sanskar procrastination even though i was able to identify this sanskar long back even before coming to this uhv i was not able to work on it effectively but now it's it has improved keeping the things away even when i consider uh, my sharing session in the in this uh, morning earlier when i saw this list i thought i may go to the uh, last uh, maybe the end of this month or something like that later that was also a part of my sanskar procrastinating the things but i am able to uh, work on that sanskar now if i see the step 6 and 6a and 6b i tend to react if my sanskar is based on assumption 
and i tend to respond if my sanskar is based on understanding if i relate this with my earlier example uh, my issue uh, in the classroom with my students i was doubting their intention and started with reaction mode but soon i was able to change it to response mode with understanding step 7 i and body are in coexistence in space now i am able to observe the coexistence of me and my body in space with improved clarity i can also observe the coexistence of every unit in nature this has helped me to develop a feeling of gratitude to all other units around me this is all about my uh, understanding related to exercise 1 and 2 now coming to my commitments as sunil bhaiya was explaining i am uh, i am the university coordinator involved with the activities of uhp in the university we were able to conduct uh, uh, this uhp one introductory workshop for the faculty members even though there are many oppositions from many uh, faculty members we were able to conduct it effectively with minimum cost it was a self funded fdp and uh, uhv cell is conducting weekly meetings from uh, yeah 2022 onwards now it's the second year we are able to discuss uhv2 contents able to take the demo sessions <coughs> and also involved with the activities of kerala chapter we were able to conduct family workshop and now other volunteering activities conducting the esip follow up sessions on wednesday and conducting online uh, delivering the content in online workshops and also acting as co facilitator in uh, offline workshops but my regular commitment i have to uh, improve it now i am keeping it only on uh, where as and when required but i have to improve my commitments on a regular basis yes this is all about my sharing thank you all i have to express my gratitude to all my mentors shamla didi ganesh ji sharad bhaiya everyone thank you thank you very much kumar bhaiya yes thank you diva didi for that wonderful uh, sharing short crisp and very sincere sharing i would say as we all know diva didi is a very consistent learner of uh, the universe given values and she is the volunteer who introduced uh, uhp to me uh, i attended the uhp interactive work workshop uh, during the covid time because of a mail sent by diva didi and she has been learning as she said uh, uh, during the last year she could get more time and she could relate to her uh, life experiences the proposals of uh, uhp and still she is learning now she is offering this content to the students the teachers uh, all over the country in the online and face to face mode so thank you divadi for that sharing very nice now we so now let me request uh, shamla didi to give her comments and remarks regarding divadi this sharing shamla didi over to you ji namaste deepa ji namaste didi yes uh, nice to hear you i know we keep talking and Uh, discussing things even in the group and otherwise um i should mention here that i have always or at least um for the last few years that we have been discussing things i think of you as a very kind and gentle person um also very consistent um very sincere and i can see in the last few years there have been many challenges for you but you have 
sort of stayed like a pillar of strength in all of the various conditions and um, sincerely explored yourself. And I can... I, you know, think it took you some time to overcome, um, you know, when your mother was sick, I think, the grief from losing your mother. But through all of that, I think uh, what has stayed throughout is your commitment towards UHV, the self-exploration in the human values and the participation. I mean, this to me, this is quite evident from your, uh, you know, participation in the college activities, participation in the AICT workshop sessions, uh, all of that. Um, you know, a lot of exploration has happened lot has been achieved. Um, I think a little more deeper exploration is required in terms of our subtle observations regarding our sanskars, regarding space. Um, and when it comes to, you know, like you were mentioning some challenges with um, family members, particularly the spouse, in terms of behavior. I think a lot of times, uh, to even respond to the question that was there regarding the family members, especially when we are working on something like human values, we are you know, trying to explore the expectations of family members who may not be exploring is much higher from us. And so even the smallest, like you said, reactions have reduced. But even the smallest reaction will bring forward a reaction from the other side that, oh, you are, you know, exploring and uh, you are supposedly doing this. And obviously you are not... Um, like you said, you know, you are acting. But I think uh, in all of that, for us to be able to rightly evaluate ourselves, rightly evaluate the other, that helps us, you know, um, to continue with economy further. And slowly you find that these sanskars will also start melting or you know becoming less dense uh, they start having less of a hold on us and we can keep proceeding forward so i think uh, you know much has been achieved you have been able to do quite a bit in this short span of time you have faced many challenges with lot of strength, a lot of courage. And I think um, this can also help many people who are, you know, in similar situations or in situations where um, they face certain challenges like that. In terms of the, uh, what you were talking about, the procrastination part. Um, what I think about that is that a lot of times when we feel overwhelmed with something, we tend to put it off. So if there is some huge task to do and we, we it's like too complicated, you don't know where to start from, you tend to put it off. So um, what I think sometimes what helps is to break it down into smaller bits and try to keep small bits for, you know, on a daily basis or an hourly basis to put some timeline 
on a smaller scale and then try to do it. And um, I think sometimes that helps. Another thing that I feel um, about procrastination is when we are not comfortable within or when the body is having some um, disharmony, some issues with the body, there also we may be so inclined to procrastinate. So I think these were some of the things that I was thinking about what can be done to try to get over this procrastination. Of course, interest also matters. If I have interest in doing something, I feel the motivation to do it. If I don't have interest and I need to do it as a duty, sometimes we may be procrastinating there also. But then again, you know, what needs to be done needs to be done. And if I can see that, then, you know, I will try to work on that. So this is what I was thinking about when it comes to uh, procrastination, just to respond to some of the questions. So I think, uh, you know, coming back to you, Deepaji, I think, um, you know, you have come a long way. Um, still, I would suggest a little more, more subtle, more deeper exploration would be our expectation from you. And of course, a lot of participation is required from all of our, um, um, uh, you know, the UHV team members who are able to give more time. And I think now with um, some things settled for you, um, with maybe family responsibilities being a little bit less um, in terms of, you know, the children being busy in their own lives and so on. I think it is wonderful that you can devote more time and you can um, participate in all the various activities. So all the very best to you for future exploration also and for uh, the participation. Best wishes. Thank you, Bibi. Always when I'm discussing something with you, I'm getting the solution very easily. So here also, whatever you said, it's very helpful for me. Yeah, honestly speaking, I'm very sure that I'm not uh, using my full potential, I would say, in even in exploration or whatever I'm doing. Definitely, Didi, that maybe also may be a part of this procrastination. Uh, yeah, like what you said, interest and also interest matters all the time. But with UHV, I think, uh, I have the interest, so I need to utilize it more effectively, Didi. Yes. All the people. Thank you, Didi. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sundar Didi, for the comments. Your comments are always helpful to all the team members, all the participants over here. Uh,